tragedy by any definition. Joining us now, as you can see, there rocks and bottles, and you can see tear gas canisters being fired. There are reports of, of gunshots also being fired, uh, and there is a dispersing of the crowd. The police has now moved yeah, I'm in. With you. Uh, right in it. And joining us now, we have uh, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. It seemed, Mr. Mayor, that from the very beginning that there were people that had made a decision here. Uh, it didn't really matter whether or not Officer Darren Wilson was guilty or not. It didn't matter what the evidence would be presented, you know, would show. Um, they had rushed to judgment. Well, my thoughts and prayers also go out to the Brown family. There's nothing like the loss of a child. All right, hang on one second, Mr. Mayor. Mike Tobin is in the middle of some breaking news and some chaos on the ground in Missouri. Mike, what do you have? All right. Yeah, Mike, are you there? It's Sean. <coughs> well, I can hear Mike coughing. As you can yes. see, there's a lot of tear gas canisters that have been fired, reports, bottles, and uh, rocks being thrown. You see some of the officers there. Mike, I see you on the screen. Can you hear me? I don't think he can at this yeah, moment. Yeah, I hear you. And oh. what you've got here is it, you know, what you. Go ahead, what Mike. you've got there is a line of the tactical officers uh, right off in this direction. And they're uh, with the Bearcat vehicles and the other tactical vehicles. And what you've had, what has just been dispersed, is a, li a line of demonstrators uh, that were taunting the police, kneeling down in the street, um, <clears throat> throwing things in their direction. And we just had a big volley. There's another round that just went out of the tear gas. <clears throat> Coming out of the uh, police vehicles in that using what has happened here in Ferguson here, as an excuse to just go out there and rob and loot and obviously has zero or nothing to do with justice whatsoever. It's like we got a stash here of some Amsterdam, New Amsterdam Citroen vodka and an orange mixer. If you could pan down and show that. Hey man, fuck you, fuck you. All right, we heard that. Excuse us, those watching at home. This is live television. What about all the people that have these masks on like that guy? How many people are covering themselves? So Uh-oh. All right, as you can see, we lost Steve Garrick. Welcome back to our breaking news coverage of the announcement, the grand jury announcement there in Ferguson, Missouri. Officer Darren Wilson will not be brought on any charges. They will not face any indictment. We just heard that announcement at length from the officials in Missouri. The announcement is in Missouri, but there's a lot of reaction here in the Bay Area. Let's go to NBC's Jody Hernandez, who joins us in downtown Oakland, where there are a few hundred protesters uh, in your area. Jody. That's right, Raj, and you can bet there are a lot of unhappy people here in downtown Oakland tonight. As you mentioned, a couple hundred demonstrators have gathered here. They're holding up signs that say arrest Darren Wilson and Black Lives Matter. Now, once that decision was made, somebody actually got up on a bullhorn and announced it to the crowd. The, uh, the crowd then uh, started marching. They're on the march as we speak. Uh, we, we believe they're marching toward the Oakland Police Department, chanting no justice no peace. Now, so far, uh, though the crowd is growing, things have remained peaceful. I just got a text from the Oakland police uh, spokesperson who says uh, everything is peaceful as of right now. Again, the crowd is on the move, uh, chanting and certainly not happy, but keeping peaceful. Now, the city of Oakland has also opened four what they call healing centers across the city. Uh, those are places for people to go and uh, express their emotions, get help dealing with their feelings um, and express themselves. So some uh, local businesses uh, have boarded up their businesses, afraid of what this crowd may do tonight. Uh, there is one business that took another uh, view, another, uh, another stance. They are actually uh, welcoming people into the business to talk about their feelings. But again, a couple of hundred people on the move, on the march in downtown Oakland. Reporting live, I'm Jody Hernandez. NBC Bay Area News. Charlie, you mentioned the folks are on the on the move, and we're looking at a live picture right now of a few hundred people moving. Do you have a sense of where they're going to, and what is the course of the evening in terms of this moving protest? You know, it, we really don't. It doesn't seem to be a, a, an incredibly organized effort. The people were marching uh, last time we saw toward the Oakland Police Department. So uh, they are on the, on the move. We don't know where they're heading. All right, which would be a similar path to what we've seen during some of the Occupy protests that we saw so much last year. All right, Jody, you hang tight there. Continue to monitor the situation there. Again, you're looking at a live picture right now of the streets of Oakland where people are apparently on the move, maybe headed to the police department, very, very upset about the issue here, what's happened with the uh, lack of an indictment in for Darren Wilson in the Michael Brown case. We're going to continue to monitor the situa situation. We'll take you back to our live coverage in a moment.